You are now entering the area of the university library. The anteroom shows signs of its restoration after the Second World War. Looking to the right, you see the coloured glass window designed by Giselbert Hawker. If you climb the small staircase toward the window and turn left, you can see through the glass door into the large reading room and get an impression of this imposing heart of the university library. The large reading room offers 350 workspaces and a reference library with 25,000 volumes. Despite its historical appearance, the large reading room is equipped for modern use with numerous online workstations. The room was conceived by Heinrich von Ferstel as an open hall with four columns on each of the ends. It has a remarkable use of daylight, which falls through the large glass areas on the ceiling. The pilasters on the windowless walls create niches in which the bookshelves are placed in a sort of running gallery. In 1884, the library moved its 300,000 volumes into the University Palace. As its holdings grew, the library ran out of space. Between 1945 and 1947, the floors were raised by two and a half metres, so as to create additional storage space for 80,000 volumes. That somewhat diminished the original spatial impression of the room with its enormously high ceiling. You can see the traces of the reconstruction on the columns, which appear to have sunk into the floor. Since then, the library's collection has grown to encompass 2.6 million volumes in its open access section and stacks. The entire holdings, including the decentralised departmental libraries, amount to as much as 6.7 million volumes. That makes the University of Vienna Library not only one of the oldest libraries in the German-speaking countries, but the largest library in Austria, and it also boasts an impressive range of electronic media.